imagine mataba ka na nga, stressed ka pa. <laughs> For this video, I will be talking to you guys about the things that I did to overcome overeating. If overeating is something that you're struggling with, you might learn something. You might get something. I hope you get something from this video. So, yeah. I want to take charge of my health and I want to take you guys with me on that journey. I can put a blame on a lot of things when it comes to me not losing weight. Um, despite of all the workouts and exercises that I have been doing um, almost every day. Pero, hindi ko pwedeng gawin yun because I know in myself what the problem is. I was overeating. So, what I was doing was, syempre nag intermittent fasting ako, diba? So, um, with intermittent fasting, what I normally do is, I eat uh, my first meal. Um, at 2 p.m. Kasi yun yung, usually yun yung first break ko. And then after that, um, I eat again at around 4 p.m. And then I stop eating after that. So what's happening is, um, with intermittent fasting kasi, you have to make sure na yung calories na kinakain mo is not less than what is required of you for the day. So mali yung misconception na kapag ka naka-intermittent fasting ka, you can just eat anything you want. You, can, you still have to take into consideration the quality of the food that you are eating and also the quantity of the food na kinakain mo. So, what's happening sa akin is, dahil naka-intermittent fasting ako, dun sa eating window ko, kinakain ko na lahat ng mga calories na dapat kong kainin for the day and then I should just call it quits after that, right? I, I just have to wait um, for the following day para kumain ako ulit. But what has been happening was that Simula nung September, every time na natatapos yung shift ko, palagi ako nagkakrave, palagi akong ginugu, naguguto. I started to like notice na parang hindi na tama itong ginagawa ko. Actually, even the first time I did it, alam ko na it was wrong. Pero ang sinasabi ko lang ay, ngayon lang naman to, hindi ko na to gagawin ulit bukas. Tapos kinabukasan, ginawa ko na naman ulit. Tapos yung parang, I was starting to get frustrated with myself because um, alam ko what it is going to do with my body. So, ayun, hinanapan ko naman siya ng paraan. Um, bumili ako ng mas maliit na plato. I think na-post ko naman siguro yun. Kasi bumili ako ng mas maliit na plato thinking I will be able to fool my brain cells na talagang dahil maliit lang yung plato, nakikita ng mga mata ko na puno yung plato na pinaglagyan ko. So, <laughs> alam mo yun, um, hindi na ako kakain ulit. It did not work for me. Hanap na naman ako ng ibang paraan. So, ang ginawa ko was, sabi ko sa sarili ko, try ko nga kumain ng mas early. Baka mas makahelp sa akin yun. So, um, I started eating earlier. Mga ala una, mga, mga alas on sa ganun. So, what, ha what was happening was that instead of doing intermittent fasting, hindi ko na nagagawa yun. Kasi yung parang kumain ako ng alas 11, tapos kakain ulit ako ng 4, tapos kakain pa rin ako ng gabi. Yung parang it did not really help me at all. Um, dumating ako sa point na parang gusto ko nang gumive up, char. <laughs> but the great thing about my journey is, even if I get tired or even if I rest for a little bit, I know na um, I know na I will still be able to bounce back and you know, recover from it. So, um, okay, so here are the things that I did to get out of the weight loss plateau that I was experiencing. So, disclaimer lang ulit, um, I am not an expert. I am not a weight loss expert because if I were an expert, I would not be in the weight I am in <laughs> at the moment. Um, hindi ko sinasabi na this is the only way or these are the only way for you to get out of overeating. Yung mga isha-share ko sa inyo ngayon, um, they are all based on my experience. They may work for me, but they may not work for you but if there is something that you're doing right now that is not working out for you maybe you can try itong mga um i-share ko sa inyo dahil baka mag-work din sila for you huh ang pinakaunang ginawa ko talaga was get out of the stress level kasi napansin ko yung um yung nagsa-start na naman ako mas stress out dun sa hindi ako naglulus ng weight and I do not want to stress out about it. Natutunan ko na when it comes to weight loss, kailangan yung unang pinoprotektahan natin is our mind because whatever we put into our mind, it will actually affect the things that we do yung sa pagkain natin, sa, especially if we are emotional eaters and you know stressed eaters, lahat ng klaseng eaters tayo, it will affect 
yung ating mga habits. So um that's what I did. Um I got out of the the, the stress zone. <laughs> Nag-relax ako a little bit. I watched <laughs> movies that would ad- uplift me. So, mga bagay na ganun. So, yun, yun yung unang ginawa ko. Ang second na ginawa ko was that I stopped planning my meals. Now, a lot of people will actually tell you na if you really want to um, lose weight, um, you have to plan your meals. So, ang nangyayari sa akin, parang the night before pa lang iniisip ko na kung ano yung kakainin ko kinabukasan. Tapos, ah, baka pwede pa ako magdagdag nito or ganun. Pero hindi siya, hindi siya nakakatulong for me. Kasi, um, yun nga, instead of it being a healthy habit for me, naging ano siya, parang naging obsession, uh, hindi naman obsession, but parang naging, siya yung naging focus ng week ko instead of like other productive things. I also had to stop grocery shopping regularly. Weird, right? <laughs> kasi ang nangyayari kasi before, kapag nag-grocery shopping ako, yung binibili ko is bulk. So, I end up with a lot of food. And napansin ko that the more food I have, the more I think about planning my meals, the more I think about food. Parang instead of it being a convenience for me because I have like food um, in handy, nagiging trigger to loy siya for me to... Um, find an excuse for me to eat a little bit more every time. So, I had to stop it. Lastly, ito talagang na-amaze ako kasi ito yung parang na-realize ko na parang, hala, nag-work pala siya. <laughs> kasi ba diba, in the recent years, kapag kasi nabing weight loss, kahit na mag-search ka ngayon sa YouTube, ang pinaka na-associate sa weight loss talaga is keto, ketogenic, ketogenic diet, tsaka yung LCIF, Low Carb Intermittent Fasting. And carbohydrate has actually gained like a lot of bad rep in the recent years. Palaging sinasabi na um, huwag kumain ng carbohydrates kasi nakakataba, nag-retain ng water, nag-seswell yung katawa natin sa um, carbohydrates, which are actually really valid points. Pero kasi ganito yung nangyari sa akin. So isang araw, Reenactment. <laughs> Minsan, yung parang habang nagsasagal na ako dito sa overeating ko, tapos yung parang feeling of, uh, yung parang nagkakrave ako every night, may minsan bumili ako ng saging na nilaga ako. Of course, nilagang saging. <laughs> um, kumain ako ng nilagang saging. Tapos na-notice ko na parang dumaan na yung, uh, dumaan na yung 9pm na shift ko. Tapos parang nagtatrabaho na lang ako sa, um, sa channel ko. Hala, hindi ako nag-crave. Tapos hindi ako nagugutom na, like, oh my gosh, this is great, this is really is it. Ganun yung naging reaction ko and I was really surprised. So sabi ko, siguro nga, no? Tapos na-realize ko na kapag kumakain ako ng kamote, kumakain ako ng nilagang saging, parang busog ako palagi. Hindi ako busog agad, pero matagal ako magutom. So ang ginawa ko was that, kinakain ko pa rin yung usual na kinakain kong vegetables, tapos um, protein, tapos... Um, dinadagdag ko dun sa kinakain ko yung either of the three at napansin ko talaga na mas matagal akong magutom so kapag kainaad ko sila dun sa kinakain ko talagang sure ako na uy, parang oh, solid to, solid to, ganun I think I've been doing it for two weeks already or more than two weeks and nakita ko yung naging differences sa eating pattern ko gusto ko talaga magpanggap na bright ako at i-prove sa inyo na talagang it really works for me yung mga nare-research ko kasi are really giving carbohydrates a uh, bad rep. So, ito na lang. I-share ko na lang sa inyo yung nalalaman ko in the simplest way possible. Yung parang kayang i-explain ng utak ko na hindi gumagamit ng math. Aray. Okay, heto na. <laughs> There are two types of carbohydrates. Meron tayong simple carbs at meron tayong complex carbs. Ang simple carbs are those processed carbs. Example, white rice, white flour, yung donut na kinakain mo. Any processed carb is a simple carb. So, ito yung mga carbs na dapat nating iwasan at dapat nating ilesen talaga sa mga food natin. Kasi madali silang i-breakdown ng katawan natin. So, which means, ayoko nang mag-explain na. <laughs> mag-explain kasi baka mali yung explanation ko. <laughs> Pero yun, alam na alam naman na natin siguro na itong mga klaseng carbs na ganito, hindi talaga sila maganda sa katawan. Yung complex carbs naman, ang dami nating mga complex carbs na alam. So yung mga vegetables na kinakain natin, they are complex carbs. Um, fruits, um, lentils, lentils, what's say lentil, girl? <laughs> yung mga um, beans, yung mga root crops, um, kamote, kamoteng kahoy, 
gabi, sila, ito yung mga complex carbs. Yung mga carbs na mahihirapan ka muna bago mo kainin. <laughs> Complex sila kasi the moment na pumasok sila sa katawan natin, mahihirapan pa din yung katawan natin na i-process sila. Um, hindi sila madaling madigest, kaya um, nagiging full tayo for longer. Hindi ko sinasabing yun lang yung kainin nyo ha. We always have to remember that variety is always the key to a good health. So, idagdag lang natin sila sa kung ano na yung kinakain natin na healthy ngayon. Kasi kung ito lang yung kakainin natin for the rest of our lives, hindi po mangyayari yun because it's not sustainable. Always, always, um, when we think of having a healthy diet, we always have to think of sustainability. Okay, just to give you an update, from 74.65 kilograms at the beginning of October, I am now down to 72.65. No. 72.35? Basta 72 point something ilalagay ko dito kasi nakalimutan ko. That's about 2 kilograms of weight loss in 3 weeks. A little bit slower than sa mga nakikita nyo sa internet. But um, to be honest, I would prefer um, to do it slowly and surely. Slowly but surely is the right way to go because it's going to be the more sustainable one. This actually also goes to show you that really, when it comes to weight loss, we do not have to kill ourselves by doing exercises, by working out. We have to focus on our diet first. This is not to say that um, exercise is not important. Whatever level of um, health you are in, exercise is going to be very important because exercise is more than just weight loss. I think that's gonna be it for today, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to see more videos like this, um, please do go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I upload videos like this every Wednesday and on Fridays, I upload random videos. Mondays, um, nag upload po ako ng mga review ng mga kung ano-anong nabibili ko sa internet. Tsaka mga hall. So, if you're interested in those things, please do go ahead and subscribe. Um, I would greatly appreciate it if you can subscribe to my channel. What ano kong trabaho, guys? And I don't know. I just do not want to work anymore. <laughs> okay. I'll see you on the next video. Bye, guys.